Hey, what's up guys? This is Juan and I'm back again with another video. This video is going to be about my OnePlus 7 Pro setup. And uh, pretty much this is how it looks. I'll lock it for you real quick. So that's my lock screen wallpaper. That wallpaper, that wallpaper I got from AMOLED wallpaper, I believe it's called. I'll double check that for you guys, but I believe that's what it's called. AMOLED wallpapers. And this is my setup. So pretty much the launcher I'm using, it's a lawn chair launcher. The lawn chair V2, I believe. And uh, this is pretty much it. I got rid of the status bar. This is a KWGT. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, KWGT widget. And that's from the Exquisite widget pack. I pretty much left it, you know, the way it came. And then I got my battery percentage right below it. That one I ripped from one of the KWGT widgets. It doesn't come solo. It's a part of another widget, but I deleted everything else and I kept the battery percentage. And then below that I have my now I'm playing for YouTube music or um, YouTube videos. Anything that's now playing will show up there. And this is my icon pack. I got rid of the labels. Nice clean look. And this icon pack is... I'm off the top of my head. I could open this. Yeah, Enix. That's the icon pack I'm using. And as you can see, my app drawer, I put everything in folders to give it a much cleaner look. So on these widgets, I do have shortcuts. Touching the weather here takes me to today weather which is an amazing weather app if you have an AMOLED display because the blacks on here are amazing. Pretty decent. And if you pay the in-app purchase, well, I think it's like $2 for six months, you can use the Dark Sky API, which is amazing. So that's how it pretty much looks. Uh, my battery percentage widget, if I tap on it, it takes me to the battery details which is pretty clean and like I said my now my music if you tap it it'll take you to now playing and that's my YouTube music these are my most used apps so Google Duo Google Maps Google News Google Podcasts my Chase app Twitter Instagram, YouTube Studios, YouTube, YouTube Music, the phone app, Google Messages, Google Chrome, WhatsApp, and Photos. If you go into the drawer, it'll give you, I believe, that's the last used apps if I'm not mistaken. Or if it's trying to pinpoint what apps it thinks you're going to use. I haven't figured that out yet, but those apps on top change. And like I said, the app drawer I have in folders. So my social folders, my Google apps, entertainment, utilities, gaming, stuff that I use to customize. So that's the exquisite widgets that I've used on my home screen. Oh, AMOLED picks. That's the wallpaper app that I got for my lock screen and my home screen. And the KWGT apps. And that's the launch here. Finance folder. That's pretty much it. I mean, I like it light, nice and clean. Looks good with the wallpaper. And those colorful wallpapers on the black part of the wallpaper. That thing looks amazing. I love it. And like I said, this is my setup that I'm rocking at the moment. This is the OnePlus 7 Pro. The Nebula Blue, I believe it's called. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, no status bar. It looks pretty clean. I love it. I mean, you can just swipe down to get your battery percentage and your time. And 
get access to your toggles. But I like the way it looks clean. This widget changes with the day, every day, and the weather. Battery percentage. I love it, man. It looks clean. Something different. You know, I'm still getting used to it. I'm thinking I might change this top widget. I'm not sure yet, but you know, so far, this is my setup, guys. If you have any questions about anything that I just showed you on this video, please drop a comment. And if you don't mind, it'll help me out a lot. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace.